Hey, what's going on people? Tech Jamo. I forgot my camera at home, so we're filming on my phone. I got 3% battery left. I want to do this little intro quickly before the battery runs out. Now, we're doing a little long range thing today, going up to Nottingham to get my little girl from school. 156 miles one way, so that's like 312 miles return. Something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, in a Honda E, obviously, I had to do this little update video because two twos now, it's getting a bit warmer. The sun is out. We love the sun. This is the charging situation at the <laughs> moment, by the way. Ain't got no wall charger in the yard, so man's using the granny cable. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to talk about timing, innit? So it's now 10 o'clock on the dot, 10.01 on the dot right now. Um, obviously, my little girl doesn't finish till 3 p.m., but I have to leave at 10 a.m. to get from South East London to Nottingham on time and factor in the fact that I've got to stop at Milton Keynes for a minimum of 45 minutes really to get a charge and I've also got to factor in the London traffic as well just getting out of London can take an hour and a half on its own usually when you're on the M1 it's okay until it's not okay on the M1 and you're also taking an extra hour on the M1 just getting through an accident so 10 a.m. right now 10 or 1 um, we shall see what time I get to Milton Keynes by and we'll see what time I get to Nottingham by. Now usually if I just had a normal petrol car which is going to take me all the way there and back or I had a car with more range which at least 200 miles range so I could just drive all the way to Nottingham without stopping then I could easily leave a lot later but this is the situation in the Honda E. I'm just being as transparent as possible even though my little girl lives in Nottingham and finish your school at 3 p.m. I have to leave at 10 a.m. <laughs> that's that's the timing situation and things you gotta factor when you drive an electric car with such small range. This was not the car for me. But the tech in the car? Mm-mm. Alright guys, we have just got on to the M1 going north. Done know the done know. In a quarter of a mile, merge onto M1. It's <laughs> it's gone what it's 11 one now so i've been on for, for like what an hour um we've got 64 percent left so how many miles have i done to get to where i am hold on let me just try and check that out can i can i check that out 45 miles so i've done 45 miles and i've lost 64 percent battery i've not had any heating on and i've been doing roughly 60 miles per hour continue on m1 for 28 miles but I've had some dips down to 56 miles per hour. Like, let's say for now example, because I'm recording, I'm just behind this slow truck and it's doing 54 miles per hour. Um, and my car's just matching the speed of the truck in front kind of thing. So yeah, 64%, I've lost 34% and I've done 45 miles. That's that's not bad. That's not bad, that's, that's palatable. <laughs> so yeah, 30 minutes until I get to Milton Keynes. Um, if all goes to plan, it's it's not looking too bad. I've got 75 miles estimated range left and I've been doing 4.2 miles to the kilowatt um, efficiency, if that's what it's called. I'm not sure whatever it's called. But yeah, that's what man's been doing. So, uh, I'll catch you guys when I get to Milton Keynes, I guess. Alright guys, oh! It is now 11.33 and we are just about to get off the slip road, off the M1, into Milton Keynes fam. Um, Exit at junction 14 and keep left at the fork. Yeah, it's, it's looking good so far. Let me not talk too soon because the traffic on the M1 be doing a mazzolini. But anyway, my percentage is now 42%. So I got 42% left. Um, we got how many miles left? 54 miles left it's saying and we've Keep got left at the wait, fork. how many percent have we used how much miles have we done we've done 73 miles so 42 percent i'm not even doing the maths right now probably i'll put the maths somewhere here but wait yeah yeah no we've Merge just lost about what's that 58 percent 58 percent battery and we've done 73 miles that's not bad that's not Take bad the next that's left. very good um so yeah, let's let's just get this thing charged up. All oh, right. Anyway, we're here now. <laughs> and now, as you can see on the right hand side, we've got the Ionity chargers, but those are like 69p per kilowatt. So we're not in a that. We are not. What we are in a are these polar chargers right here. So that's what man's gonna wheel up into. 
Okay, there we go. Let's get a little bit closer. I love how this car's um, proximity sensors come up when you're getting close to something. Can you guys see that? There, just there. See how I'm getting close, too close to it kind of thing. So you've got the bird's eye and you've got the camera there. That comes up automatically when I get close to something in front of me. Anyway, let me stop that. <laughs> Let's go get charged. Man has been charging for three minutes and I'm at 48%. And if we just go into the car itself, let's have a look. See what the percentage is saying. Um, 46 minutes remaining for charging. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. And that's to 100% by the way. So usually I might even get away with 95%. But um, hmm. let's play some video games. Now, one of my favorite things about this car, clearly not the range, is the fact that it has a free pin UK socket down here for plugging in anything you want in your house. Now, I don't have a fast charger for my Samsung. It is a car charger, it's a cigarette lighter one. I've just got this normal one and I'm able to plug that in because there's just a normal three pin socket there. But what I can also plug in is... My Nintendo... My Nintendo... Now, I can't lie guys, this is the main reason I got the Honda E fam video games in the car whilst it's charging what what more do you actually want in life you're a gamer you're trying to save the environment you're trying to play mario kart at the same time anyway let, let's get some in it let's get some a couple of people have been asking me questions like when you're playing games in the car whilst it's charging does that slow down the charging and you've got to deep it like this guys yeah my nintendo switch probably I don't know, maybe, let's say it takes up 100 watts. I don't even know how many watts. Can't take up that many watts. Maybe 65 watts or whatever the charge is rated at. Less than that, probably. Anyway, 65 watts. Now, I'm connected to a 50 kilowatt charger. 65 watts on 50,000 watts. What, what is that? You got 65 watts going out, but you got 50,000 watts coming in. You have, to look, you have to do the maths at the end of the day, guys, isn't it? <laughs> All right, the time is now 12.14. Um, man has 95% battery. I'm good with that, to be honest. 95% can get me where I need to go. Where are my car keys? Look at look at my car, it's a mess. Nintendo Switch, everything. Been trying to do my work, it's, it's all a mess. <laughs> but, all right, guys, so back in the car, back on the road. 94% an estimated 122 miles with the 94% and it's saying 2.6 miles per kilowatt average that I've been doing so far I've got 80 miles to go I believe 80 miles to go to get to Nottingham Hucknall and it's saying an hour and a half so we shall see <laughs> how long it takes whether it's going to actually be an hour and a half and we shall also see um, how much percentage we've got left when we get there. So usually in the winter, I'd have about anything less than 25% when I get from Milton Keynes to Hucknall. So I'm gonna do my normal 60 miles per hour or less on the way there right now. I'm not gonna be using any air conditioner or anything and we'll see how many miles I've got when we get there. Whew, all right, we are off the M1 and we are in Hucknall, Nottingham or somewhere near Hucknall, Nottingham, I don't know. But um, yeah, guys, we're about to charge the car. Let me put out the windows real quick. We are about to charge the car. Well, we're about to look at my first charging point to see whether no one's charging. Hey, no one's charging there. Now we just need to know, does it work? <laughs> so let's, let's go in there uh, and let's see what it's actually saying that's it over there can you guys see that yeah 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 this is where we're gonna check it out see why they've got two parking spots here but they've only got one charger it just doesn't make sense to me maybe it's just they know it's just a spot where people can wait whilst the other one is getting charged i, I don't know but um yeah let me go get that charged real quick <laughs> so yeah guys we are at 33 percent the time is now 155 um, let me see what the details are on here as well. Uh, we've got 40 miles left in the tank. We've been doing an average of 4.4 miles per kilowatt. And how many miles have we done so far from Milton Keynes? We've done 78.8 miles so far. 
and we had 33% left. So not too bad because I left Milton Keynes at 95%. That's that's okay. Like I said, in winter times, I would have about maybe less than 20% left. Sometimes I've even come here and had 15%. <laughs> like, like sometimes I've barely made it here, especially in the winter months. So the fact that it's now April, it's warmer and I'm at 35%, that's, that's a plus. That's a plus plus times multiplied by plus fam. You understand it? Hey, there we go fam. 98% in 40 minutes. I think I was at, what, what was I at? 31% when I got here. Woo. All right, guys, quick little update. It's now 10 to 4. Um, we are on 88% battery. We've got an estimated 103 miles of range. We're doing 3.6 miles to the kilowatt at the moment. Me and my little girl just banged out some chips. She's going for the fish bites at the moment. Don't know if she's going to make it, but she's going to try it. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it. We're on the way to Milton Keynes. That's that. It's about 75 miles away. Like I said, about 88%. 104 miles range. It should be all good. Catch you in a bit. Ooh. Keep left and turn right. Oh my gosh, I know where I am, don't worry. Right, guys, we are back at Milton Keynes Coachway again. We are at 34% battery. The time is now quarter past five. Um, I've got an estimated 47 miles range left and the average miles per kilowatt is 4.6, so that is very efficient. I don't even think I've ever driven that efficiently before. And now it says I've done 85.2 miles and I think I left, I left Nottingham on 90%, I think. So yeah, no, we're doing quite well with the mileage at the moment. Um, gonna go plug it in now. See what it's saying. All oh, right, guys, so we're at 36%. Um, it's saying 50 minutes to charge, which is what it's kind of been saying all day. 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Um, there's, there's everything for you guys to look at, so you guys can look at that if you want to. Um, one trick I was going to tell you guys, though, is that, obviously, the sensors pick up a little bit of dust on the motorway and thing, it. So, what I do when I'm charging sometimes, if I remember, is I get some Dettol wipes and um, we just rub down the sensors. So, rub down the little camera on the back here. Um, we can rub down the cameras on the mirrors as well. Uh, we can rub down the big sonar radar thing that they got going on here as well. Just a little wipe down. One wet wipe, wipe, wipe should do it really. Um, just to make sure everything's being picked up as normal when you're driving. All right guys, basically six o'clock. We are at 97%. We could have gone at 95% to be honest about 10 minutes earlier, but we was playing some Roblox on it. You know how that go. So yeah, we got more than enough to get back to London. Cause as you know, when I left on 100% from London to get here in the first place, man was left with 40% in the tank. So essentially I should be able to get here with like 70% battery anyway. So, um, mm, we're all good. I might even do a little bit of 70 miles per hour, a little cheeky. You know, make sure we get home nice and quickly. Uh, I mean, it's rush hour now anyway, and I'm going back into London. So, there's, there's no such thing as getting there fast. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, innit? All right, guys, the time is now 7.53. Got 30% battery on there. An estimated 30 miles of range. Um, I had done 3.8 miles to the kilowatt on my last piece of the journey. And yeah, that's, that's not too bad. That's nice, that's nice. Let me tell you guys, in the winter, I've said it many times on this video before, I might even cut out this part, but I would get home with like 15% battery, maybe even less, maybe 10%. Um, so yeah, a nice healthy 30%, more than enough, more than enough. So in conclusion, yeah, it's warmer. We're getting more miles, we're getting more mileage, we're getting more range. Yeah, it, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is, but I'm still not changing my driving habits. We're still gonna take it nice and slow, just in case charging stations aren't working or whatever in it. It's always best to have more miles than you need.